the Circulo de Bellas Artes brings Tintin artist Herge's personal collection to Madrid for the first time. A wide selection of props, rare items, and Herge's original sketches are available to local fans. Tintin's much-loved exploits took him to more than 20 destinations, and they all have a spectacle at their core. For example, in his Tibet adventure, Tintin looks for a missing friend, declared dead in a plane crash. In The Blue Lotus, he goes up against spies and drug smugglers during Japan's invasion of China. Apparently, the locations that provide the adventures for the books were selected by the Belgian cartoonist for a reason. He was very influenced by what was going on in the world. So Tibet was created and Lotus Bleu was created because there were events in those countries and the Chinese, the Japanese were invading China and the Chinese were invading Tibet like the Russians are invading Ukraine now. Despite taking historical context into consideration in his books, some argue Herge was on a personal mission to spread his own political views. And a prime example they give is the first Tintin volume in the land of the Soviets. Herge said that the publication of Tintin in the land of the Soviets was a sin of youth. He himself prevented this book from being reissued when Tintin began to gain universal traction and Herge considered it an initiation work. It's an interesting work because with it, he begins to learn the language of comics. And from the first pages to the last, there is an extraordinary development. Anyhow, it's a simple, simplistic and furiously anti-communist album. Still, subtext aside, on the surface, what captures readers first in Tintin books is Herge's artistry. Tintin is so special. On the one hand, the drawing is exceptional. That hiptonic drawing, those uniform colors, that trace of the line. Anyone, a child, even if he can't read, opens a Tintin book and he is fascinated. But at the same time, there are perfectly linked stories, with very solid characters. From the effervescence of Captain Haddock, to the stupidity of Thompson and Thompson, and all this in service of adventures, which lead to a moral discourse and the behind-the-scenes workings of this mix of moral discourse, politics and art will keep Tintinologists engaged until February 2023.